welcome back to another video this is just a super super quick one today it's just a butternut squash uh, soup recipe that I made the other day I just shoved it in the soup maker as you all know this is what I do when I'm trying to get good losses and I don't really ever have a recipe for soup I just throw everything in um, I got slimmer of the week and in the basket there was a butternut squash which I've not actually cut up a butternut squash for years I usually use the frozen ones which are already cut into cubes from Aldi um, my vegetable peeler also broke which was just great so I had to slice it with a knife so I didn't do um, a very grand job of it but I tried my best guys so um, as you can see it's a very geometric butternut squash shall we say um, but basically just peeled that took all of the middle out with all of the seeds and everything and then just chopped it very roughly it was just in big chunks because obviously as you know from the other videos with the soup maker I do leave the chunks quite a good size because it catches all of it and then just blends it really really nicely once it's in there so once all of that is chopped up I well whilst I'm chopping all of that I will boil the kettle and you'll see in the background the jug and the two vegetable stock pots so one stock pot makes 500 ml um, and the soup makers hold a thousand ml so I use two stock pots and I just pop those into that jug pour the boiling water in and give it a really good mix around and then when I've put some of the butternut squash in I'll put a bit of the um, veg stock in there as well Oh yeah, also I forgot to mention, I'm wearing my hair dye nighty and I had a hair dye on whilst I was making this. So I just shoved it on in the morning and I thought I'd make this whilst it was um, developing because it doesn't take that long to get this made. So just ignore my nighty that's covered in hair dye. It's got Snoopy on it as well, so I was going for vintage vibes. Um, <laughs> and yeah, pay more attention to the cooking rather than what I'm wearing because uh, it's not a very good look. Um, so you'll see I've left that veg stock there. It's just been mixed around and whatever. Um, and I'll put some of that in in a second. I like to just put some of the veg in, then put some of the veg stock in, and then if I do need to top it up with any more veg, then I can do that, because obviously I don't want to overfill it. When it cooks and it goes onto the blend option, it can spew out anything that goes over the fill line, so obviously it's not advised to do that. You'll see here I'm just chucking a leek in as well, and then we'll pop some of that veg stock in have a nosy at what it looks like and I basically just decided to throw another carrot in there because why not just get in as much as you can carrot is one of my favorite things to put in and um, yeah all done finished <laughs> 